last segment, we saw the frightening aspects associated with reptilian phenotypes, indigenous reptilians abducting, genetically engineering, extracting sperm and feeding of fear. In this segment, Dr. Rebecca Hardcastle, author of Exo Consciousness, explains how she had many experiences with reptilians, both in the underworld and in ships. Rebecca states, I personally have no fear of reptilians, though culturally they have been demonized, and that demonization may be done by both reptilians and by humans to create a boundary. Again, as much with ET experience, people seem to have a family history with reptilians, though not everyone in their family may be conscious of the connection. Certainly, the Hebrew religion knew the power of reptilians, as did the early Christians and most early religions. As you know so well, Asian cultures also embrace the reptilians with awe and respect. Reptilians represent spiritual transformation for humans. Snakes shedding skin, phoenix rising from the fire, glowing scales that transform. The shining ones are identified with reptilians and snakes. Kundalini Yoga, the inner serpent that awakens our DNA. I am a practitioner, states Rebecca Hardcastle and that is most likely linked to my reptilian heritage. I have lived in several places that are kundalini sites. I agree with many experiences that reptilians are guardians of earth. They are dwelling in this earth dimension, underworld and interdimensional, long before humans. As the Garden of Eden stories tell, they carry wisdom that is essential for humans. We listen when we are ready, and they communicate. As for the violent reptilians, such as Dull Stories, I have no experience of them, though since our military was involved, there may be many parts of the story, many tales being spun for various reasons. As for the Illuminati and reptilians, there may well be family lineage connections. If you notice at their core, most wealthy human families who are associated with Illuminati wealth are lineages who care for land, animals, crop, art and ancestral homes. Perhaps their homes, estates are reptilian portals that their families maintain for generations. I feel these Illuminati reptilian earth families are probably doing their job as they understand it. Sustainability of earth has many workers. Though they are wealthy, they are basically salt of the earth people, farmers. Also notice that many craftspersons and workers on these estates also carry over through many generations. Regarding Illuminati and reptilians, I feel that many researchers dump on them because it's easy, and religion especially, Western religion, gives us the mindset to do so. I am very wary of researchers who do drugs to gain wisdom of dimensions, and there experience reptilians. I feel these researchers are often controlled with attachments they collect. Humans have no need for drugs and control. We have a built-in technology, physically and spiritually, to be multidimensional. Dr. Hartcastle is now working with scientists in this area. Incidentally, Dr. Hartcastle will be teaching on Lernalt quite soon, and I'm sure you'll gain a superb amount of knowledge from her work. At last, a positive attitude towards the reptilians. Let us summarize and see what we have learned from Dr. Hartcastle. Demonization of reptilians by humans and reptilians, perhaps to create a boundary. A positive attitude towards reptilians by Dr. Hartcastle. Her encounters with them represent awakenings, spiritual transformation, and knowledge. They are guardians of the planet Earth. Illuminati are their bloodlines and care for the Earth, art, estates, crops, and sustainability. Dr. Hardcastle discounts drug-induced encounters with reptilians.